and we're back again with another vlog um i'm still very overwhelmed with the support that you guys are giving to the video that i posted like a few days back ago regarding um the dubai fountain featuring the first ever korean uh song to be featured in dubai fountain which is powered by exo so please keep on pouring all the support um leave a thumbs up and subscribe and feel free to share um as long as you know i'll put some credits into it i'm really very generous about it because all i really wanted is like to spread the love and to bring exo closer to you for those who weren't able to witness it personally yeah so please feel free now what i'm gonna talk about is you know i mentioned that um i'm really fascinated with k-pop or anything korean uh, and i made some few research if i may or some searches um about different korean groups well i'm really very familiar with to anyone because i've been following them before and unfortunately they have disbanded and such so i hope that they will make a comeback because they're really very cool um i like their music i like their style um they can dance they can sing and they are not really the girly girly type of uh group although i don't have anything against um the other k-pop group it's just that that is their style and i truly enjoyed them just like girls generation um and yeah but 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 i do enjoy it to anyone right now i'm into blackpink as well um i'm i'm seeing their videos their uh if i may say vlog as well because they have their own channel and it shows the daily life of the 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 black pink girls and they call themselves i mean the fandom call themselves blinks i like them as well yeah and i'm really fascinated with lisa the thai um uh, idol she's cool she's cute she's nice she's kind of wacky and fun but all of them are you know they have their own personalities and together they blend well and they really uh you know they're one of the groups to look for to look out for however i came across some articles about you know um some korean idols cannot take it anymore therefore they're ending their life by committing suicide see this topic is a really very sensitive topic and i'm really happy that there's a lot of awareness um being created uh to for us to be able to address this issue because believe me depression and other mental health um disorders you know it's they're they're really a very serious issue that you cannot just simply ignore them it's a very debilitating um condition that affects everyone from all ages from all nationalities regardless of your stature in life whether you're rich or poor you're popular or not once depression hits you in the head it's always always gonna be a daily struggle by the time that you wake up by the time that you open your eyes up until the time that you close your eyes to sleep or sometimes you don't sleep at all because you keep on thinking a lot of things a lot of thoughts coming into your mind mostly negative you know and it's really kind of sad because we have this impression that fame and money will give you ultimate happiness well apparently it's not the case happiness is such a relative condition or a relative state if i may say because what makes me happy might not be the same for you if you're gonna ask me what makes me happy it changes from time to time it changes from the current state of my condition like right now 
my definition of happiness is not being able to worry about anything that I will have a peace of mind peace peace yeah um that somehow my relationship in all levels it should be harmonious like me as um like a colleague as a sister as a as a daughter as someone's a partner wife mother um friend and yeah in 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 all my relationships um yeah and of course happiness simple happiness in a very shallow level if i may say is me being able to eat chocolate nice chocolate and come to think about it i'm craving for chocolate right now okay enough about that so yeah so going back people with depression is you know they really need some help in a sense that of course they're trying their very best to make the pain go away but sometimes you know it's really very unbearable of course they think about their loved ones don't please don't think that committing suicide is such a selfish act i mean of course some of you will say that you know other people wanted to prolong their life think about those people who are on their deathbed deathbed suffering from let's say cancer or any other life-threatening diseases like they, they wanted to have your life but in your case you're healthy you know you have all the money and fame in the world you have fans so you know you're just simply wasting your life by taking it away you could have given it to someone else but as i mentioned it's not really being very selfish i know that some of you might disagree because to think that taking someone else's life is selfish this is the life that has been given to us this is a life that we borrowed and ultimately we have to return it to our creator but we have to use it wisely because this is something that we borrowed okay this is not ours but we have to make use of this in the best way possible that we could and should however as i mentioned life is not that easy life is too complicated even though it's just four letter word just one word four letter word two consonants two vowels but it's way 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 too complicated so going back to depression it's really a daily struggle like you have to fight the urge to end it all it's not like okay i wake i i, I wake up one morning morning i have depression and class i have to end it all up no it's like a long lengthy process of so of of struggle an endless and constant debate within yourself shall i continue shall i go ahead what if you know i will leave my family i will leave my friends i will leave my everyone my loved ones behind i don't want to cause more problem because i think that my existence doesn't matter or my existence brings so much pain to the people around me that if i'm gone i they will be better off that no one loves me if i will be gone no one will miss me and they will just go on with their life i've been there um especially during my teenage years during the puberty stage right and this is the time that you you're so confused with what is happening with your body there are a lot of changes and at the same time hormones are aging up and you simply cannot understand your life like you are in between a child and an adult so you're you're really really very confused so i've been there thinking about this very uh, morbid thoughts that what if 
I will be gone. I'm sure that they will just cry for me just maybe one week, few days, maximum a month or two months. And then after that, they will just carry on with their lives without me. And they won't be greatly affected by my loss. I'm sure that, you know, they will think of me once in a while. But then that's it. After that, they will continue what they are supposed to do. Everything will still be fine. The world will still revolve without me. And the world will be better without me. Those are my thoughts. And, but, you know, much as we think that no one loves us, that if we're gone, that no one will be affected, you're very, very wrong. Because you'll never know how much they love you. They might not be showy. They might not be too physical or verbal about their love for you. But in the end, they do really care, especially our parents. Their, our brothers and sisters might not have the same kind of love as much as your parents, you know, have for you. But believe me, they care. They do care about you about your well-being and it will be very devastating for them to lose you life is beautiful it's it's wonderful not because it's full of you know positive stuff it's not life is full of complications of heartaches, of sadness, of misery, of problems, life is unfair, and all that. That's why it's beautiful. Because life is teaching us not, not to, you know, um, not to be happy always. But life is teaching us to be strong and to be wiser. And life is preparing us for challenges ahead. As long as we live, as long as we are breathing, there will still be problems. However, there will be times of great joy. You may not know it, but there are little blessings in disguise every single day. You being able to you know watch this video on your mobile okay it means that you have internet connection even though it's Wi-Fi shared Wi-Fi but at least you have internet connection you have a mobile you have battery okay and you have free time to watch stuff in YouTube you being able to see me talk means that you have your eyes are still working perfectly you can if you can hear whatever i'm talking about it means that you can hear you're not deaf you being able to understand what i'm trying to say means that you are able to communicate somehow i don't want to compare myself with other people because it will either make me vain or bitter I know that there are people worse who are experiencing worse things than what I'm undergoing right now because right now um, I must say that things are not going too well in my life uh, but I'm sure that you all have your own struggles and what I can tell you is eventually these things will pass everything is temporary the only permanent thing in this world is change i know that it has been said over and over again but that's the truth so just try to hold on because somehow this will end or if it will not end at least you will be able to manage somehow there's gonna be a solution to every problem 
I'm sure of that. You just have to try to be, you know, strong. Try to believe in yourself. And try to ask guidance from God. Regardless of your religion. Okay? Because if it's too much to bear, at least we have someone up there to guide us to you know show us the way or you can also talk to yourself which I usually do although it might sound crazy but your yourself is the only person who will give you very honest opinion about everything yourself will not lie to you because you know, even if you talk some lies, some some sugar coating, sugar coated thoughts, just to make you feel better, you know very well. You know yourself very well, and it helps sometimes. I I talk to myself all the time because. I, as I mentioned, I know myself and somehow I know how to make myself comfortable, I guess, to make myself feel a little bit better. So, yourself will not judge you. Um, what else? Try to distract yourself. Um, try to go out more often. Do not stay in your room most of the time because it will make you think more um it will make you feel bad i guess if you're gonna stay in your bed all day curled up and a lot of negative thoughts will just simply come to your mind you will be bombarded with images and thoughts which you will definitely not like and it will cause more pain to you trust me try to go out more try to appreciate life more you know try to distract yourself as I mentioned you have some um, hibernating talents there try to explore it once again and try to use it to your advantage and perhaps you can make money out of it again I'm not telling I'm not saying that money will make you happy it's just that at least it will be able to support your everyday needs I'm not making any sense, am I? So, if you really need help, try to talk to someone that you trust. If you don't have anyone, try to talk to yourself. Or try to write a book, or try to sing, or as I mentioned, um, instead of, you know, bowing down on your mobile phone and updating your status or something, just try to look up. I'm sure. God will assist you. God will help you go through this. Ask for assistance. Pray. Pray harder. Pray sincerely. Okay. So, to everyone who's undergoing depression right now and you felt that there's no way out, there is. There is. You just have to widen your horizon. You just have to to hold on. Things will be better. When? I don't know. I don't have the answer. But you've made through bad days. You made it through with this one as well. You'll be fine. You'll be fine somehow. You're just gonna look back a few years from now and just laugh at this episode in your life. It doesn't matter how many times we fall, but the important thing is how many times we learn from that mistake. Move on and hope that you won't be making the same mistake again. 
we have regrets I'm sure and that's haunting you but it happened you cannot do anything about it but you can still control the present time because it will determine how it's gonna be in the future